welcome to part two of my kitchen my um, decluttering sorting and organizing so this is the other um, large cupboard I have um, near the window I had already done that one over there so today I am sorting out this one Right, I've emptied all the glassware out of our cupboard and there is quite a lot of it, oh, quite a bit of it. I really can say that we don't use that much. Starting from over the far side, which is this side here, this was actually um, a gift we received um, after our, our engagement um, from my in-laws. Um, we've got the bottle type bottles here and I've got the set in the crate there then I've got the set of like latte glasses for our Tazamo these are like mason jars but these are like the um, turn that around like the owl shape there these were the remainder of our wedding um, present on our wedding gifts um, which is these um, these are actual crystal um, probably um, one of the only um, glass sets we've got left although I have got one of the um, these tumbler type glasses um, missing um, which at some point must have um, broken um, got three like coca-cola glasses here then what we use the most is these mason jar type um, mugs that we use every day. And I've got the two larger skull ones at the back and three like pumpkin ones here. And then these ones, I've got a set of eight, probably out of the whole lot, the cheapest item. And the item that we use the most because I've got a set of eight, um, for when we um, have quite a lot of company sitting at the table and then I just have an odd um, one here that hasn't been used that I bought after the summer last year so that is all the glasses so now I've just got to make a decision um, what I'm hopefully going to get rid of and what I'm going to keep Right, sorry about that, I had a bit of a coughing spurt. Right, so reviewing what I have, starting from this side, I'm definitely, like I said, I know it's the cheapest item, but I'm definitely going to um, keep this set of um, eight glasses. Great for juice, wine, sometimes wine, um, water, and it's the only set that I've got, like, enough um, place settings, um, for everybody at the table now going like Halloween I'm definitely going to keep the two skull glasses they are actually used um, right from when I bought them in October and they've been used all through the winter not just um, for Halloween and they're still being used now but what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to get rid of the um, three pumpkin ones because really and truly they don't hold hardly anything actually in the cup so what i'm going to do is i'm going to put those aside and i'm going to get rid of those three so what i'm going to do is i'm just going to move these over here out the way let's try not to jolt you and then that i can move the rest of the glasses up so that's get rid of Right, out of these, I've decided I'm going to get rid of this one because the print's coming off and I have got quite a few. These are slightly larger and I've got these, I believe these were the ones from um, Poundland. So I'm going to keep those, those two. And I think what I'm going to do is, at the moment, I'm going to keep these three. So I'll keep all those. The Coca-Cola glasses, again, something that I started getting rid of. I'm going to get rid of the Coca-Cola ones. I prefer to keep the mason jar ones. 
this one is a hard one um it's been some time that anybody has asked for whiskey brandy anything like that liqueurs but i feel as though um yes it was a wedding present we don't really use them but i think at this stage i'm inclined to keep them although i've only got a set of five again they are crystal i think i'm going to keep those for the time being but it could be a question mark on those for the next i would say six months they tend to stay at the top of the cupboard and i guess that's another reason why they're not really used and i am actually going to keep the glasses but instead of not using them um i will definitely use them again possibly give six months on that right that one I only brought in the summer, decided I'm going to get rid of that one, that odd one. Now we come to the owl ones. Um, this is a hard one. Um, I do like these, I must admit. I'm going to leave those for a moment. I'm not sure where the lid of that one's gone. Then we come to the latte glasses. Right, these three are definitely keep. These are the proper Costa ones. And... I think this one actually came with the Costa machine, but these I actually um, purchased. They were quite expensive, actually, from actual Costa itself because we wanted the larger um, glasses. Now, I've noticed there's a difference in sizes of this, these ones. And really and truly, these don't really hold a decent amount of the drinks. You have to really watch it, and it can come right up to the rim. So I'm very close to actually getting rid of these, which is set for, but keeping the, they're not quite as tall as these ones, but they're still um, bigger than those, just a shade. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to get rid of these four. With the bottles, I'm going to keep that set for the time being. I have used them quite a lot. Maybe I'll give it six months from that set, but I'll get rid of these four. And I'm quite tempted to keep that set. As I say, it was, again, I actually use um, the wine um, container more as um, decor than for wine. Um, so maybe it's not thinned out quite enough. And maybe when I start putting it all back, I may reconsider. Um, but it, it, I did actually thin it down um, a couple of years ago. But I, even then, I have managed to get rid of quite a few items. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. 15 16 there's still there that little bit there 16 items to go and i keep the rest and i'm gonna finish cleaning the cupboard and then i can look at some of the other shelves this actually did take um two and a half shelves up i think just about so i'll see what difference it makes when i put it back Right, this is the next batch out of the cupboards. Um, I did have a set of six, but I've only got a set of five of these now. Um, we're used for dessert, instant whips, trifle. Mostly I used to do prawn cocktails in them. So she and I used to do um, like three course meals or something when we had visitors. But usually, as I said before, we don't tend to do um, starters now, we just do main course and dessert, followed by cheese and biscuits. Then I have got gravy boat, Christmas gravy boat that didn't come out this Christmas just gone. Gravy boat and two jugs. I've only got one dessert set. I used to have three. I did get rid of the other two um, over the last couple of years. So I've only just got the one complete set now. Um, this actually bowl is supposed to be 
um, floating candles. I'm going to just straight away get rid of that one. Haven't used it in a couple of years. This odd plate I've always kept because sometimes when you get a larger dessert, they don't comfortably fit on my cake stands. So this is quite handy, especially trying to get um, your server on there as well. Um, which we haven't used actually in over six to eight months. Um, could have done with this actually the last couple of times I've um, cooked meals for family. And this one is quite heavy. That one is a definite keep because I've got rid of most of my plastic um, snack um, servers and just kept the glass one, which is nice just to put some... Um, little snacky bits on when we've got visitors so they are a definite keep so is that and I'm looking at this and I'm opening our in now this one is quite versatile we used to have it when we used to have our other coffee maker because it used to um, froth up boiled milk which we just got the Tasmo now but this is handy um, for cream when we've got guests Definitely custard and at a push um, for extra gravy instead of putting a plastic um, jug, which when there's just um, the three of us, sometimes we tend to do, I must admit, but it's handy to have those two. I did actually forget about the Christmas gravy boat, I must admit, I think we just ended up with, if I remember rightly, the plastic jug in the end with the gravy. So looking at these, I prefer to keep the white. I'm going to let that go. And I'm also going to let these go. And I'm just going to keep the plain white. That I made a decision. I haven't used those in 12 months anyway. I had forgotten about, I think I got this after last Christmas. I'm sure I did. So I'll keep those and the jug. The slight dilemma I have is on these. As I said, I used to love doing prawn cocktails, although I'm not over keen, but I will eat it. Um, but for the amount of times I use these, and I must admit, um, you have to use a brush to get into these um, little grooves here when you're washing up. And I'm thinking, well, I've got one, two, three, four, five, six. Yes, I've still got the complete set of this one trifle fruit and cream instant whip i think this is becoming a no-brainer now i think i'm gonna finally let these go these were actually a question mark i think last january so i'm just gonna let that set of five go and then i will just end up with these few pieces here so I think that is quite a good trade-off. So I'm going to put those back in the cupboard now. So this is how I've organised it. At the top there I've got those crystal wine glasses and the tumblers, the six um, milk bottles in the crate and I've got um, our like, engagement gift up the top there. Pretty much, I would say, question marks on probably all of that top shelf. But I am not ready to get rid of them yet. This is where it's thinned down. I haven't got dishes stacked on dishes. So I've now brought the gravy boats down um, and the white jug and I can reach those. I can't reach right up the back of that second shelf unless I've got my little steps but one I need to get out regularly I can reach so we can start using the white jugs better this is where the bigger difference is because obviously with all the mugs that have gone I've now got taken out the two metal um, two tier um, shelving bits obviously to give you more room because the only problem is with that is like my um, cardio mug doesn't fit on either of those shelves whether you put it on the top or under the bottom and like these um, larger 
ones and also the Costa ones don't fit so because I've thinned it down now I don't need those second um, lots of racks also it is um, a safety issue because now we hopefully won't have things actually dropping out of the cupboard so I'm quite happy with that and coming across and here's my um, items to get rid of which I am actually surprised at because I didn't think I'd be able to get rid of anything because as I say I do thin this cupboard out um, every year um, as I say just a few little question marks so um, we shall see um, hope you've enjoyed this video thanks for watching goodbye